Everybody, here's my uh, schedule for the book review channel. It's going to be a lot of the Baby Sears Club TV show this month, and I know that's technically not a book, it's actually a TV show, but I'm going to review it here on my uh, book review channel anyway, just cause, cause this is where all my Baby Sears Club fans are, they're on the book review channel, not on my main channel. So um, I'm going to have one every six days. So basically uh, on the 4th we have the Baby Sears Club TV show, I review episodes 4 and 5. On the 10th, episodes 6 and 7. On the 16th, episodes 8 and 9. And then on the 25th, no, 22nd, uh, episode 10. And then, then just my general review of the series. I think it's a good series. I actually like it. I like it a lot better than the, uh, the Nancy Drew series, which came out last year. So you can look forward to uh, those reviews. I, you know, I should not have read the comments on my reviews for episodes 1 through 3. Because spoilers, people. Spoilers. I, I totally got spoiled with like some of the things that happened. So, uh, in between the Baby Sears Club TV show reviews, I'm, I'm just gonna post the next two books and all the series that I'm reading. So, the next two Baby Sears Club books on the 7th will be Super Special 9 and, uh, Book 60. And then Hardy Boys Undercover Brothers on 19 and 20 on the 13th. I'm gonna do the next two Little Sister books on the 19th, so that would be these two books, 5 and 6. For whatever reason, it took me forever to to actually read them. It took me like over a week. I don't know why, they're very short books, but it took me forever to get to those. And then the next two Boxcar Children books, um, 9 and 10, so I'll post those on the 25th. And I just realized my math is incorrect. Oops. Okay. Well, who cares? Um, at the end of the month, I always have the, the commissions, right? So I'm, I'm going to be reading uh, Franny K. Stein. Somebody wants me to read that. Um, Fever. 1793, so about uh, an outbreak of yellow fever, I think, and uh, the town gets quarantined and everybody dies. I haven't read this yet. Um, sounds kind of depressing, but I have to finish it by the end of the month. <laughs> um, also going to be reading um, Stanford Wong Flunks Big Time, so that's right over here. Uh, let me cover up my uh, library address sticker. So this this is basically like a sequel to Millicent Men, Girl Genius, which which I read. So this is gonna be the next book in that, that series. Um, somebody wanted me to read Holes, which is a fantastic book. I love it. Um, I'm probably not gonna get to that this month because it, it's sort of long. It's not like super duper long, um, but it's over 200 pages. So I... I, I if I'm told to read something over 200 pages, I'm like, okay, I'll put it off till next month. I, I, I wait for two months to do that. Um, stuff I read this past month. Uh, the Hardy Boys graphic novels. So I just read all of the uh, Hardy Boys graphic novels. So I read like 12 of them. So I'm done with the, the Hardy Boys graphic novel series at, at this point. So, um, yeah, that, that was basically what I did. Um... Oh gosh, let's see. I read one, no, I read three Baby Sears Club books. So book 99, 100, and I'm halfway through book 101. So trucking along with that series, I suppose. Um, some of the Barbie books, so Barbie, A Stitch in Time, Barbie, A Special Ballerina, Barbie, The Pyramid Adventure. So I, I read those three Barbie books. And then um, like one rainbow magic. No, no, two rainbow magic fairies. I'm now on the green fairies or the earth fairies. So, um, that's actually like, it, it, it's like, um, number 78 and 79. But when you include all the special books in, in that series, which I've also read, this, this is like rainbow magic book number 98 or 99. So it's sort of like tied with the baby series club. I, I don't know which series I'll finish reading first. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. I don't have much um, free time for reading. Um, the library situation just changed, actually. So, um, it should be easier for me to get books from the library, but it, it still took like half the month for me to actually get the books that I was commissioned to read in uh, July. So that's, that's sort of why I'm planning, trying to plan my commissions super far in advance.
or you know, at, at least more than two weeks in advance. That's why I'm trying. Um, Franny K. Stein. Did I mention that? That was another book I was commissioned to read. I, I haven't gotten it from the library yet. So, um, but it looks like it's a picture book and it looks like it's short and silly, which is great. That's the kind of book I want to be commissioned to read, the really short and easy books. Although I, I do like, um, reading fantastic books like Holes too. So I think that's about it. Yeah, I, I can't think of any other books, uh, I read. I mean, most of the stuff, um... Extra stuff that I read last month um, was posted last month. So I, I did the Muppet uh, Choose Your Own Adventure book, hooray! And then I did um, a thing with uh, the top 10 best books narrated by Dawn and then the top worst books narrated by Dawn. So that was that was fun. Um, it took forever to write and do, but that was actually a fun project. And yeah, I think that's it. I think those are all like the, the extra random books. I do have another extra random book that I'm going to hope to read, uh, a murder mystery. Uh, yeah, yeah, an Ellery Queen murder mystery. So I'm going to try reading, um, you know, one of those old-fashioned murder mysteries. Uh, that'll be interesting. Um, I've been writing Pride and Prejudice and Murder. Um, don't expect that to come out anytime soon, but... I kind of almost finished the, all the stuff that I had to write, but now I have to do programming for the game and have my co-author write a bunch of stuff and then endless editing and reviewing. So it's still going to be a while off, but it's good to, um, you know, be done with the first draft of that project. And let's see, um, uh, uh, speaking of writing, um, I am going to leave the camera for a bit. Do, 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 do. Here. It's also wrote, um, uh, you know, this noir mystery murder man, which, you know, I, I, I read the, the Hell on Friday trilogy. This is the first book in the Hell on Friday trilogy. So I, I wrote an outline for, um, something based on this. So I just took the cover cause the cover's not in the book. It's actually a kidnapping mystery. Um, yeah, just a really terrible cover, nothing to do with the book. So I, I wrote a premise for like a short noir mystery just based on the cover. So it's, 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 it's like this. I, I assume this guy was a gangster and he, he, you know, this is his former partner who is out of jail or whatever, who came by and killed him to try to get the top secret information from the safe. And his fiance is trying to stop murder man from getting into the safe. And um, she screams, neighbors come in, um, murder man goes away. And then our detective hero, the hard-boiled detective, gets called in to solve the mystery. I don't know if, the, if I'm ever going to write this. I just wrote the outline for a story. So um, he has to get the combination from the safe, and there are like three different numbers. And I didn't know if it's going to be like a video game. Maybe I could write it video game style, or maybe I'll just write it like a, just a, a short story. I don't know. It's, it would be about eight chapters long, so I guess it's not exactly a short story. Anyway, the detective solves the solves the mystery, finds the clues to figure out how to open the safe, and um, I came up with like two big plot twists after that, which I don't want to spoil, in case I actually do write it. <laughs> so that's that's basically it for my uh, book review channel um, this past month. Thanks for watching, everybody.